morning, dear parents and families who are here, as well as friends and relatives who are watching on Facebook or YouTube. The second grade class of Our Lady of Fatima School would like to welcome you to the celebration of our first Holy Communion. Today is a day full of joy and blessing because in today's Mass, we will receive the special food Jesus gave us, the gift of himself in Holy Communion. This marks the spe this marks the beginning of a special kind of friendship with Jesus and an important event in our lives as active members of our faith community. At this time, may I request everyone to please turn off all cell phones and electronic devices or put them on silent mode. Also, we would like to remind everyone that no picture taking is allowed during the Mass to preserve the solemnity of the occasion. The songs and responses will be projected into the PowerPoint so that all present can actively participate in the celebration. Let us all stand and welcome our first communicant and Mass presider, our pastor, Father John Cordero.
on this beautiful day we're in our kids from Our Lady of Fatima School will have their first Holy Communion. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us now call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and peace. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Almighty ever living God constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever.
A reading from the first letter of John. My dear friends, we must love each other. Love comes from God, and when we love each other, it shows that we have been given new life. We are now God's children, and we know Him. God is love, and anyone who doesn't ha- and anyone who doesn't and anyone who doesn't love others has never known him. God shown his love when for his love when he sent his only son into the world to give us life. Real love is not a love for 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 God, but his love for us. God sent his son to be the sacrifice by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, since God loved us this much, we must love each other. God is love. If we keep on loving others, we will stay one in our hearts with God, and he will stay one with us. The word of the Lord.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread from heaven. Everyone who eats it will live forever. My flesh is the life-giving bread that I give to the people of this world. They started arguing with each other and asked, How can he give us his flesh to eat? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you won't live unless you eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man. But if you do eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will have eternal life. And I will raise you to life on the last day. My flesh is the true food, and my blood is the true drink. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you are one with me, and I am one with you. The living Father sent me, and I have life because of him. Now everyone who eats my flesh will live because of me. The bread that comes down from heaven is not like what your ancestors ate. They died, but whoever lived, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we started the procession coming in, I asked the kids, what were they feeling at this point before the Mass would start? And the answers would range from they were nervous, they were excited, they were scared, and but many of them said they were happy. They were happy. And then one of them said, Father, uh, he's, he said all of these things. And he said, I don't know how to put them all together. But those are the things that he, he was feeling at that particular point. And, you know, there's a reason why you feel those things right now. It is because you know in your heart that this is an important day, right? And what will happen will be very important in your lives because you will be receiving Jesus in communion for the first time. And that is an important thing. And it's okay. That's why you're feeling those little bits of feelings in your heart because you know that this is going to be an important day. It is also very important because in this stage in your life, when you're approaching the priest and the priest will say to you, the body of Christ, you will be the one saying, Amen. And Amen means I believe. I believe that that is the body of Christ. It's no longer somebody else answering for you. Remember when you were I don't think that you remember, but maybe the parents will remember when you were baptized. You don't remember, I guess, uh, unless you were baptized recently, but most of you, all of you, don't remember the time when you were baptized. It was your parents who said, okay, uh, do you believe in God the Father Almighty? You were a baby. You did not say that. They were the ones who would say, I believe. But this time, it's your turn to say from your hearts that you believe. No one else will say it for you. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay? This is, uh, that's why we, we believe in the church that at this stage in your life, you are able to grasp this beautiful thing of receiving Jesus in Holy Communion. So it's okay if you're scared. It's okay if you're 
excited. It's okay if you mix all of that with being happy. Because today is an important day. Right? Amen? Let's practice that amen later on. Amen? amen. And you know what amen means? What? All together. I believe. Now, I go to the parents this time. Don't think that you're going to escape. Okay? First of all, I'd like to thank you for bringing your kids to our school. Thank you for the concern. I guess uh, the main reason why many of you would bring your kids to Catholic school is that you want to make sure that the sacraments are given and they are properly prepared, especially for First Holy Communion. But that's not the end of the story. First Communion, remember the word, it's First Communion. It's not a rite of passage. It is the beginning of a lifestyle. It's the beginning of an important stage when it comes to our faith. So if that seed is planted today, remember it's a Saturday, right? Tonight the Mass will already be for Sunday. If you go to Mass, these kids will no longer approach the altar with arms crossed. No more, right? This time you're going to stand before the priest and prepare yourselves to receive Jesus and communion and you say for yourselves, I believe, amen. It's the first Holy Communion right now. My dear friends, especially the parents, the godparents and the guardians, make sure that that seed is properly nourished. It's an action, right? So you have to do your best that that action will be continuously done and be part of their practice. Make sure that the seed that is planted today will be nourished, not just by going to Mass. If there are weeds that are growing, and definitely that happens in our own lives, then we encourage them to go to confession. Of course, we have confessions in the school, right? But it's also nice if they see their parents go to confession too. Hint, hint. <laughs> right? That's part of the nourishing. They would also, it's also nice if they see that their parents join them in communion. It's also nice to see that when you go to back home, it's normal for you to talk about your faith. The stories that you hear, right? There are stories that we have during Mass. It's nice that your kids will have a chance for them to tell you the stories. In the, for example, they attend the Mass and maybe Father Dominic said a good story during Mass, right? And you talk about it, not just because you want to have gossip, but because you make sure that you add on to that and make it a faith-building activity. Nourish that seed that is planted. Remember, the fact that you're bringing your kids to Catholic school does not mean that, okay, I have subcontracted the faith formation of my child to the hands of Our Lady of Fatima School, so you do all the work. We are partners here. Okay? We are not the subcontractors. That means you are part of the workforce. It's like in school, right? You're involved with their homework. You're involved with uh, making, uh, uh, you're, you're checking if they finish their, their schoolwork. When it comes to faith formation, that is part of the partnership that we have with you. We will try our best. 
We'll try our best to uh, allow them to have weekly Mass. We will try our best that they will have a chance to go to confession regularly. We'll try our best to make them see the signs of the faith. That's why in every schoolroom in our school, there are saints so that they will be immersed in Catholic values and the life and breathe the Catholic faith here in the school. But that means that it has to be a continuous breathing of the faith. When they go home, make, uh, are there signs and symbols of the faith at home? Do you have crucifixes? Do you have a Bible? Is that part of, is faith part of the conversation? Is going to Mass part of the regular family schedule each week? Only then can that faith grow. Only then can we make sure that the seed that is planted today will live longer. These kids know. They're excited. They know today is important. Let's guard that important faith. Let's nourish it so that they will grow fully alive in their Catholic faith. Why did you bring them here? Because you know it's important. Right? It's not simply because, well, I came from Catholic school myself, so maybe I have to bring my kids to Catholic school. That's just momentum. I don't think that that will hold. But the main thing is that we're here because we know it's important. These kids are excited because they know it's important. You brought them here because you believe at the bottom of your hearts, you know that this is important. So I hope that this reminder that we are reminded that important things need care. Important things need nourishing. And if the faith is important, we hope that the faith is an integral, important part of our lives. Not just today, right? But every day, beginning today. Now, I've asked the kids the question. Parents, grandparents, can I get an amen? amen. And what does amen believe, mean? Amen. You believe as well. And if you believe, and the kids believe, then we will have a wonderful environment where the faith will grow. We'll do our best on our part. But I said to you earlier, we don't bear total responsibility. It's still yours. Okay. Okay. We're just your partners here. Okay? So we work at it together, and then we will build up on what we all believe. Amen? Amen. With one heart and one voice, let us now raise our voices to the Lord in humble supplication. We pray that God may bless our church leaders, our Pope, our Bishop, our Press Peace, Father John, Father Matthew, and Father Dominic. We pray to the Lord.
for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine, and for all those who are suffering, that the death, passion, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ may bring hope, comfort, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, the hungry, and the sick, that they may find people who will show the gift of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the students of Our Lady of Fatima and all the children who are preparing to receive the body and blood of Christ in the sacrament of Holy Communion, that they may be blessed with the grace they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here that like our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, we may, we may always follow her example of kindness to others and obedience to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, including all relatives and friends, that they may rest in God's mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. For all special needs and intentions of the members of our parish, of Our Lady of Fatima School, and all of us gathered here today, that we may always strive for kindness, respect, humility, and hollowness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also offer our Mass for the thanksgiving of Derek Espinosa. God our Father, we raise to you our voices in confidence and faith. In all these petitions, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated, and we shall now have our offertory.
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself as the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and form by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be to you all. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
still prevail and we become the love that we receive bread of life bread of life those who eat this bread shall live and never die bread
After receiving a special gift, who is Jesus himself in the sacred meal, the second grade class would like to share a song that expresses how precious we are in the eyes of God and how God takes delight in the way we welcome the beautiful body and blood of Christ into our hearts. To our dear relatives and friends, thank you for all the prayers, your friendship, and your help. Your support enabled us to be ready and worthy to receive Jesus through the sacrament of the Eucharist. We would also like to express our gratitude to Mr. Bresser, our principal, and to all the faculty and staff for guiding us and helping us grow to become good Christians by providing us with an environment that tries to live out the teachings of Jesus. We would also like to thank Father John, Father Dominic, and Father Matthew for teaching us and our families about our faith through the sacraments and all the formation they have provided us continue to share.
At this point, may I ask our parents to please stand. To our dear parents, we would like to recognize you in a special way for preparing us to receive Jesus. In the Holy Communion way, by loving us dearly, by taking care of all our needs, and by molding us to become faithful children of God. We would not have known Jesus more closely if you did not introduce and nurture our faith. The love of God became more real because of your examples and teachings. Thank you, and we love you. Please continue to pray for us that we may continue to grow in our faith and love for Jesus. May we request the parents or godparents to bring the first communion cross and approach the altar Let us pray. Please all pray stand. First. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we would like to request parent or grandparents to please bring the first communion cross and approach the altar and face your child for the blessing and confirmment of the Holy Communion Cross, a symbol of Jesus, the bread of life. We would like only to request one parent or one adult for each child. Since we are a big group, we can only accommodate one adult. Thank you. So I will now bless the crosses. May I ask you to raise those crosses so that we can be seen. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to us because you love us and want to save us. By the power of his cross, free us from sin to let us live each day for you. Bless these Holy Communion crosses, the signs of your love and glory. We ask this grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As a reminder of your love, life in Jesus Christ, your parents or godparents will now present to you the Holy Communion cross as a symbol of your Catholic faith. Parents, you may now give the Holy Communion cross to your child. But before you give, so that that's, it's more... It's more formal. Raise them and I will whisk holy water to make it look more holy. <laughs> there you are. You may now give the crosses. Please say your child's name as you, uh, as you pray, recite the prayer flashed on the screen. I present to you this Holy Communion Cross as a reminder that Jesus, whom you have received in the Eucharist, will be with you always. I promise to nurture your loving friendship with Jesus with my love, support, and good example. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May I request the parents to please proceed back to your, to your places. Boys and girls, please give back the Holy Communion cross to your parents and go back to your spot on the altar. So parents and godparents, you can go back to your places while the kids sing their final song.
Good morning, everyone. So uh, before we hear a final song, as principal, I would again like to thank you for uh, having your child here at Our Lady of Fatima. It is truly an honor and a pleasure to be able to be with your children. And most importantly this morning, I would like to thank Mrs. Demarcalena, Miss G, for all of her dedication, her hard work, and her example that she sets for all of us, not just the children. I love <clears throat> I'd also like to thank Mrs. Gamba and Mrs. Del Rosario for all of their help, dedication in supporting and educating and setting a great example for your children. Thank you.